Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, Plus Size in Canada. My name is Miranda and I have a Dollarama haul to share with you guys today. I went to Dollarama yesterday. I bought so much stuff. I honestly can't even remember some of the things. I just saw this dog dish and I was like, what the heck? But now I remember what I bought it for. I have a fun haul for you. So let me get everything out of these bags and I will show you what I got. You guys, I spent $119.41 at the Dollarama. If you've been keeping up and watching all of my vlogs, you may have heard me talk a little bit of smack towards Dollarama. Um, and I said, I like every time I go to Dollarama, I feel like I just buy stuff I don't need. Unless there's a holiday, okay? If there's a holiday, that's the place I'm going for all my wrapping paper, my uh, tissue paper, uh, paper plates, all that kind of stuff. So yes, Dollarama is an important store in my life. I just sometimes buy stuff I don't need, but like, I think I do that at every store. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but this time at Dollarama, I got some useful things and a lot of these things are going to be put right into the rotation and I got to get to wrapping Easter presents and hide some things and I'm excited. I'm so excited. Let me show you. Let's start with this gum. I know this is random gum. One of my friends sent me this um, Trident gum. It was citrus and either watermelon or strawberry. It was a layers gum. Is this a layers? Maybe not, but they had these on the way to the cash and I was like, yes, more gum. Big Red is still my favorite gum. I still love it. It is still delicious and I crave it. Like I think it's, I think I'm addicted, <laughs> but I do enjoy a little bit of a fruity flavor as well. So this does actually help me. Like if I'm going for a walk, sometimes I just pop in a chew of gum and it actually keeps my mouth from getting super dry as well. Sometimes I bring a backup piece in my pocket. Yes, I'm addicted. Um, I actually can't chew it for that long because it will give me a headache once it gets hard. Why is my brain going there? Like, no. <laughs> but I do enjoy a little chew of gum every once in a while. Um, okay, I like, I have so many different things I don't know what to do. Um, garbage bags. Did you need them? Nope, but did you buy them? Uh-huh, because I love these ones. I love these garbage bags. They're not expensive. Ooh, it looks like mm, Dollarama, you upped the price of these, didn't ya? Didn't ya? Because um, it used to have a price right there. I feel like it was a dollar, maybe a dollar 25. That's not that anymore. Cause look, they like Sharpie markered the price off. I'm gonna be Snoopy and I'm gonna check my receipt. I'm gonna be Snoopy. I'm gonna be Snoopy, says who? I found them on the receipt. They're now a dollar 50. I can't remember if they were a dollar 25. Or a dollar before, but I mean, a dollar fifty for twenty-five garbage bags is still like a very good deal, actually. Um, I use these garbage bags in my bathrooms. They have a little scent to them, and it's like, what is this one? Baby powder and vanilla, and yes, good, happy smelling scents in the bathroom. It's always a good idea. So that is what I bought those for. I actually still have some at home, but. They don't always have the white clear bags available. So when I'm there, because of our like garbage system here, we have white or clear, um, blue and green. So I have to keep with those colors. Garbage is tricky. It used to be just toss it in a bag and out the door. It is very tricky now. Ooh, no one is surprised to see the all dressed up chippies in the hall. They're now $2.50 for the toonie bag. This used to be a toonie bag, $2. Now it's $2.50. That's the way of everything. And it takes me off because I used to know all the prices. And and like, I do have OCD. So maybe my, one of my biggest issues is numbers. So maybe that is why it bothers me so much. It's not so much that it costs an extra 50 cents to buy the bag. Because it's still worth it. It's still a better deal than any other grocery store or convenience store. Um, but just the fact that I don't know the numbers anymore. Like I, I had them all logged in. They were, they were permanently fixed in my brain and now they're all different. Like, I don't even know how much I paid for these. I, I'm going to have to keep reading like all of the, uh, little tags because normally at Dollarama things have been the same price for so long that I don't even think of it. I don't even look, I just know 
think these used to be 88 cents. I don't know what they are now. I got two um, of the iced tea and then also two of the lemonades and I'm gonna give these to the Easter Bunny to do with it what he wants. So I'm gonna check the receipt because I honestly don't know. Maybe it's still the same price. Maybe they upped that too. Okay, they didn't up it. It's still, well, technically it is 98 cents with the deposit, but it's still, it's still the price. It's still what I thought and yay for me. Um, okay, what else did I get? Some more of these chips. These are really good. They did not last the day that we opened them. They were gone. Um, $1.50 smoky BBQ rice chips. Love those. And then I also grabbed the sesame ones as well. Winnie takes those in her lunch to school for morning snack. And of course I didn't forget about my four-legged child. I got him some of his all-time favorite pig ears. I haven't bought these in so long. I had been buying them at PetSmart in like a great big bag and they were thick pig ears. Um, actually fun fact, I only realized like maybe four years ago that pig ears were pig ears. I just thought it was like, that's the name. That's, that's what it's called. But no, like that's a pig ear, the ear of a pig. That's a vein. So it's, it's kind of gross when you think about it, honestly. Um, but yeah, I only just realized that a few years ago when I went to buy it and I looked and I was like, what is that? that that's a vein, honey. <laughs> Anyways, okay, don't think about it too hard because it might give you gross thoughts, but oh, poor piglet. <laughs> Anyways, um, I might give these to the Easter Bunny as well. Um, normally what we do for Easter is we buy a lot of the things to help out the Easter Bunny. Um, any things that the kids like are have been wanting or, um, you know, something that they need, we buy it. We put it on the table for the Easter Bunny and the Easter Bunny comes when we're all sleeping and he hides everything. So I'm very grateful to have his help because <laughs> mom and ain't easy. Okay. <laughs> um, I, yeah, there's a lot of weird items here. Okay. Like inside this doggy dish, <laughs> actually. Okay. For this, I bought this doggy dish $3 and 50 cents. Um, if you've been watching the vlogs and you know, I walk, I walk all the time. It's starting to get warmer. My dog is a couch potato, even though we walk every single day and he is active with his best friend, Lulu. Um, <sighs> he just really can't handle the heat. He really can't. He doesn't want to walk. He just wants to lay down. He's thirsty. So um, in a haul that you will see tomorrow, I bought myself a walking backpack and this is going to go inside of it along with water. Um, I did think about getting the water bottle holder, like they're connected water bottle and dog mouth holder thing. What, is, what would it be called? Dog dish at the bottom. And you like squeeze out the water from the water bottle and it goes into the food dish or the water dish. This I don't know why it's so confusing for me. If you know what I'm talking about, then you're like, yeah, honey, we get it. Keep going. Um, <laughs> but there's no way my dog would ever, ever try that. He is terrified of everything including water bottles. Like I literally, I had to buy this kind of dish because I'm going to have to like put water in it back away and like pretend I don't see it there. And then just kind of like let him take a drink without me noticing. Um, I can't, I can't show him the water. I can't go ding, 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 ding. get your water, get your drink. He won't, he won't, he, w I, I don't know why. I have given up trying to figure out his issues. He is scared. He's scared of the air fryer, y'all. He's scared of the air fryer. He's scared of a broom. He's scared of the chairs at the table. He's scared of balloons. He's scared of, oh my land, literally, he's scared of the gate for the stairs. He's scared of the stairs. He's scared of sneezing. Any loud noises, he's scared. Like, oh my land, the garbage truck, terrified. Terrified of the garbage truck, terrified. But his father's motorcycle, which is also loud, he loves it. Curtis came home from work this morning. Jasper was so excited. But I, I, I just, you can't, you can't try to figure him out. Golden Retrievers, they are like blissfully unaware of all things. They are, they're stupid. Okay. I said it. I said it. They're stupid. They are lovable, blissfully unaware, stupid animals. And I love him so much. <laughs> I really 
really do. And I wanna keep walking with them. So hopefully this will help. $3.50 for that. Check out these adorable bath squirters, Mickey and Minnie. These are going into the mail and being sent to one of my best friend's little guys. He absolutely loves Mickey Mouse. So he's getting these two along with a few other Mickey things. I just gotta get to the post office. I'm good at like getting my mail. Actually, sometimes I'm not good at that either. Um, and some of you let me know that I'm not good at that. Um, but I am the worst at putting mail at the post office to go. And I know I'm not the only person. Like, I, I know that. And it makes me feel really good because I'm not the only one. You know, I, I suck at stuff like that. I really do. Anything that that doesn't need to be done ASAP, anything that doesn't have a due date, and I can put it off to another day, I'm going to. Thank you so much for giving me another day because I didn't want to do that today because I already have a hundred other things to do today. And honestly, that's my every day. So that's probably why. Speaking of friends, got a card for one of my friends. I'm going to send that in the mail very soon too. And if you didn't know, Dollarama has cards. They even have like so many Easter cards. I, I wish I could send Easter cards. I suck at the mail. I want that. That should be a goal of mine. Get better at the mail. <laughs> it's not going to happen. <laughs> I got some wrapping paper to wrap up some Easter presents. They didn't have my blue. Normally, every year, every Easter, Winnie is pink. Skylar is green. Cooper is blue. I do still have some blue here at home. So I'm hoping that's going to be enough. If it's not, I'm gonna have to hit up another Dollarama to see if I can find it, or Cooper will just be blue and also Christmas wrapping paper. <laughs> but I don't wanna do that, so we'll figure it out. But thankfully, I still have a few days to do that because I'm gonna need all the days that I have. I got so much Easter stuff to show you guys. So let's go through that. I will say I did not buy any of the plastic Easter eggs. I already have a ton and I don't even know if the Easter Bunny actually needs them this year. So I didn't buy any more, um, but I did buy these. I thought these were so cute and they're kind of like the colors that I go for. We have green, we have blue, and then we have pink. So there's also yellow on that side and green, but pink. Um, so these will be perfect for my kids, $1.25 each. And how many do I get? Six. That's exactly how many I needed. Or maybe I only needed five. I'm not sure. But these are for something specific. And I'm so ready. I'm so ready and so excited for it. So I got those. Um, yeah, make sure you're subscribed because like, we're about to do Easter better than anyone has ever done Easter. Okay, like <laughs> not to brag or anything, but we've been working very hard, <laughs> very hard for this moment. I got three of these. I can't remember exactly what I bought these for, but when I was at the Dollarama, I specifically thought of something that needed to go in this. I don't know what it is. I'll probably figure it out between now and Sunday. <laughs> but anyways, I got these. They're cute, $1.25 each. They're pretty durable too. Like I think this is the kind of thing that you could absolutely keep with your Easter decor and use again next year. Um, I got some paper plates. I'm not planning a big meal with friends or family or anything. Um, my mother-in-law is having a meal and Curtis's brothers will be there with their families. So we'll do that. But I, I'm not, I don't think I'm having people over here. We actually still need to have Winnie's birthday party. So that's coming. I, I wanted to have it already but there's been other birthday parties and you know when other friends have birthday parties you don't want to also have a birthday party on the same weekend or the same day because that's just too much um so i'm just waiting for my turn winnie's birthday party was supposed to be in december but we were in a complete shutdown here in december so i said we would do it at a later date um and we still had like a party for her like with us um, but anyways, we're going to do it. I just also right now there's other things happening and there's a really bad flu going around my small town, like bad flu, including people from my family have already had it, not this family, but other family. And I 
desperately don't want that. I really, really don't. And I'm so scared. I've never, like, it's a bad flu, guys. Like, I'm talking shits. <laughs> and the, the upchucks at the same time. Like, ooh, have, has that ever happened to you? When you're sitting on the shitter with holding a bucket in your, that is not fun. Been there, done that, never want to do that again. But uh, I, if you don't see me, that's where I'll be, okay? That, if, if you don't see a vlog, we've been hit, okay? There's your warning. <laughs> I am, of course, because I'm a worrier, this is what I do. <laughs> I'm so stressed that this flu is going to affect the plans that we have and put everything in jeopardy. And I thought literally, I only had one thing to worry about. So we're all vaccinated, everything's set, like blah, blah, blah. I thought it was only COVID that I had to worry about, but no, there are still other illnesses. Damn it, it's not fair. <laughs> oh my heck, I'm trying not to worry. Today's worries are enough for today, okay? Whew, I have to remind myself of that all the time. And I have to remind my husband of that when he gets on me about something that's not due yet. Be like, babe, today's worries are enough for today. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> so I'm not planning a big fancy meal of any kind, but my sister and her kids are coming to town. Um, just like Santa, like, I, oh, it's so fun when they come, but I haven't seen them in like a couple months now. So it's been too long. I'm excited. They're coming. They love to come over and play. So I'm sure that Aunt Randa will be fun and we'll use some of these plates and napkins with them. These napkins were $1.25 and so were these plates and you get eight plates and they're cute. Are these the same? Oh no, they're a little bit different. Okay, cute. So also that makes for less dishes, which... Yay, that's always a good thing. I am desperately low on tissue paper, so I got all these colors. Look how pretty, look how pretty. Oh, I love color. I love color. This instantly, like, I don't know, dude, I don't know what it is. It's gotta be some scientific shit, but these colors make me happy. Like, literally, I was just looking at this one, like, it was on the counter like this, and I'm like, yeah, okay. But then when I just did this, Who's all sciencey? Tell me. What is what is the science behind this like sheer joy just from looking at pretty colors? Maybe that's why I love Disney so much. It's just I like doesn't that make you happy? Maybe it's because of my crazy pills. I don't know. I don't know. I clearly have a lot of issues. <laughs> I got some of these stickers, puffy stickers, um, decorative stickers, autocollant decoratif, um, 40 pieces. $1.25. They're just little cute, funny little Easter eggs. Um, I got these loot bags for um, the Kinder Surprise Big Bunnies that I bought, as well as the Mashems for my nieces and nephews and Winnie. Um, and I have got a lot of DMs and messages and comments about the recall on Kinder Surprises. I checked I double checked and then I triple checked because they like made the list even bigger. It does not include the bunnies. I'm so grateful, <laughs> but it does not include the bunnies that I bought a few weeks ago. So we're all good. We don't got the salmonella. I can still give them to my family and I'm really excited for that. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do like boys one, girls another, or all the same, or like different families, different bags. I wasn't sure, but they had these options and I was like, all right, I'll buy you both, $1.25 each. And whatever I don't use can go into my um, bins with my Easter decor for next year. I was looking for a nice tablecloth um, cause normally I do buy like one of the, I don't even know what material it is. It's kind of like plastic, but not the rippable plastic like this one is. Um, they didn't have any, actually they had beige ones, like just beige. And I'm thinking that's a stretch guys. That's a stretch. No one wants that. That's why it's still here and all the other ones are gone. Um, but I got this paper towel, not paper towel one. <laughs> Tablecloth one is made of that cheap plastic. I don't even know if I'm going to use it for Easter. I just, I like to decorate my table because it's like in the center of my home. And I think it's just cute to do it for every occasion. So next year I gotta buy the Easter stuff a little bit earlier if I can. I just wasn't into it this year. 
I just wasn't. I don't know. Maybe it's the weight loss journey. Maybe it's the plans that we got going on. I don't, I don't know. I just, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired, guys. I'm tired. And I'm bitchy. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one. <laughs> and more Easter stuff. I honestly, I don't even know. I didn't even know what I needed. I just, I knew this was like basically the last time I was going to be in Dollarama um, until after Easter. So like I knew I needed all of the Easter stuff. I didn't know how many gift bags I needed. Um, so I just bought a ton. I just, I just bought what felt right. Um, I got these for $1.25. This is actually, they're cute, right? I think they're cute. $1.25 and you're getting two. So I think I got two of those. Yes, I did. Okay, fantastic. The reason why I bought two of these is because, um, I wanted two of the boys. So Skylar and Cooper could each have their own boy. And then of course we have the girl ones as well, but that's fun. Um, $1.25 for these. I don't know if I got more of those ones. Oh, $1.25 for these. Nope, $1.50. Okay, these are $1.50, my bad. Um, they're cute, right? I think they're so cute. Easter colors, man. Easter colors. Oh, I don't know. What is it? What is it with the colors? I don't know, but like looking everything, all the Easter stuff is spread out on my counter right now. Like, why am I getting goosebumps over colors? Somebody tell me, please. I don't I, I feel um like it's <laughs> Like, I don't know why. Like, I feel like it's weird for me to literally be getting goosebumps over colors. Maybe it's my new meds. Guys, I joke about my meds, okay? I know, and some people take it the wrong way. I don't, so that's like my humor. I, I like to make fun of myself because um, I can, and it's funny for me. It is, so I don't know. If you don't get it, I'm sorry. Um, I got these. This one is so cute to me. I love this one. Oh, this one is like that 70s show. Did you guys hear they're coming in with a new that 70s show? But it's that 90s show. And that 70s show mom and dad are actually going to be in that 90s show as the Grammy and Grampy. Can you believe that? I just heard that yesterday on TikTok. I was like, what? <laughs> I'm so excited because that 70s show was so good. I loved it. It was iconic. And I really hope they don't screw up that 90s show because that 90s show, y'all, the 90s, were the best years of my life, okay? Well, <laughs> there were some rough ones too, but like the 90s, uh, like I want to be a part of the show. Can you let me? Like I, I just, <gasps> oh, I love it. All like all the candy, all of the friggin' lava lamps and the Orbitz drinks and the Spice Girl stickers and the pictures that we used to buy the films. Oh my goodness, the films. No, kids don't even know what films are anymore. We used to drop it off at the drugstore and have to come back in two weeks. They don't, like, they just look at their phone and there's the picture. It's so, yeah, the 90s, I'm telling you, love it. So these were, did I already say $1.25? Sorry, I got excited. <laughs> it is like a constant for me. Try to stay on task, Miranda. A dollar for these ones. How many did I buy? Four. I don't know why I bought four. I probably needed three or six or one, I don't know, for these ones, and they were a dollar each, okay? That's all the Easter stuff that I bought, I'm pretty sure. Well, from that store anyways. Okay, now I'm on to the um, self-care, care hair, hair care, face hair care, hand care. I got this. You guys do smell stuff in stores. If you're not, you're missing out. I don't know if that's actually frowned upon now. Right, right when I was about to say that, I was like, are you allowed to smell things in store because of COVID? I've still been doing it. I've still been doing it. Even when I wore a mask in the store, I would just be like, little pull down, little squirt, squirt, you know? <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> but anyways, I always buy things that smell good, or at least I try to. If I can smell it, I'm going to smell it because why would you want to bring a nasty ass scent home, especially wash your body with it? That's just not a good idea. So this is shampoo and conditioner, Berry, strawberry blast. It's for Winnie and it smells so good. You guys, they had three different kinds and this one was like a 10. The other two were like a five. So I bought two of these for her. They were $3. Okay. And my favorite scent of all all I haven't had this body wash in probably like six months I in the summer I discovered it 
and it was my favorite. Who knows what I'm talking about? Who's been here since the summer? You guys, this soft soap, luminous oils with real macadamia oil formulated without parabens and pathogens. Moisturizing body wash. This smells. It's something from the 90s, I'm telling you. What is it? Oh, it drives, it drives me, you drive me crazy. <laughs> it's, it's literally something from the 90s and I can't put my finger on it, but I am telling you, I am telling you, I'm not going. It smells literally amazing. I, okay, if you have this, please go smell it and tell me what you think it smells like. Oh, like it fills a void that I didn't know was there. I only bought two and now sm standing here smelling this, I should have bought all the ones they have. Not that it's going at a, at a style or it's going to be like lost, but oh, I just love this so much and I forgot about it. And then I saw it at $4 each. So it's not like it was the best deal, but you guys, what is that smell? I don't know. It's going to come to me in a dream one of these days. I know it will. And it's going to be amazing. I'm going to sit right up out of bed and be like, <gasps> yeah, and then I'll be able to tell you. But if you figure it out before me, please tell me because whatever it is, I want to find it again. I don't know. I'm a body wash sniffer. I need help. <laughs> Curtis needed some more um, sensitive skin Gillette foam wash, you know, for that cut, for that cut. So got that for him. He also does the cut up here. <laughs> and then I think this is the last thing that I got. Look at these fun soaps. Look at these fun soaps. Um, because it's like spring and dirty, um, I am on my kids constantly the kids that I babysit of course as well they're my kids too um every time we come in from outside go wash your hands I don't care what we're doing doesn't matter doesn't matter if we're sitting down to have a snack which we usually are or getting a drink which that also is part of the process um or just going to play it doesn't matter they need to wash their hands so I got these fun soaps and I'm going to keep my eye out for more fun soaps because I am fun and I want my kids to have fun soaps. That's a good reason, right? Got this Frozen one. Got this Paw Patrol one. Boober, my little guy, he is obsessed with Paw Patrol. So he's going to love this special soap. And they were each $2.50. But I'm going to keep looking because I feel like we need to have fun soaps all summer long. For sure. Because we're going to be washing our hands. And we might as well be having fun while we're doing it. Okay? So that is going to be it for this haul. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm so excited to give you another fun haul tomorrow. So make sure you come back. I love you guys so much. Have a great day. Bye.